Hello and welcome to you another Doctor's Assistant 1 video. Today I'm doing a new news sort of video. Uh, yeah, I've got like a Dalek problem, clearly. <laughs> uh, you know, um, yeah, I, I'll i be honest, uh, before I forget, um, this time round I feel like the Doctor Who Dalek sets or oh, some of the action figures have been difficult to find this year i don't know if that's just me please feel free to comment below if you guys have been finding or i've been trying to track down the new action figures from b&m and if you found it difficult but i mean the three three packs i found pretty much from the first b&m we went to me and my mum went to which is really good because it was the local one uh by us uh and then yeah it was just like pretty much sort of mid August until I got these Daleks, so uh, yeah, um, and that, um, of this recording, hopefully, it's the 30th of August, uh, of this recording, so hopefully by this point, by the time I've uploaded this video, uh, the reviews of these figures, and all of the new, uh, uh, B&M set figures, the three three packs and the two Dalek, History of the Dalek packs should all be, uh, on the YouTube channel. I didn't get the second Doctor TARDIS just because I chose not to because one, I don't have enough room for any more TARDIS, uh, sets and two, I just, I don't really want <laughs> any more if I'm being completely honest or at least any more of the ones that have come out which the only two I've mainly missed or recently missed are the fifth Doctor one and that second Doctor one and as I say, I just wasn't too, too fussed about either of them myself so, but yeah um, basically, as well, the irony is that by the time I personally got round to buying the the, the Dalek, uh, History of the Dalek Pack 1, the Dalek one, um, uh, the uh, character options that announced that, you know, at 1 o'clock on that Wednesday that week, that um, the sort of chase Daleks that they're doing, which are basically like the, the work around the fact that legally, or like legally character options that have the license to the the, uh, the Pete Cushing movies, but basically the chase appar apparently in all of like three sec uh, three minutes of like one part of the chase, there's like two movie Dalek props in the backdrop, but that's just because the BBC. Uh, as they often do, didn't have enough Dalek props, so basically the people who made the Dalek movies with Cushing were uh, awesome enough to gift the BBC those Dalek props, so technically that's the way that Al Duard and that has kind of legally uh, sort of gone about getting those to us as Doctor Who fans, which is awesome, because I know some fans were like, oh well technically they're not because on the box, blah blah blah, they're not technically the movie Daleks, but they're practically the movie Daleks, I think, anyway. Um, but basically why I'm mentioning that is because by the time I'd bought the two History of the Dalek packs, one, uh, or two two of them is the, the amount that I've got, um, I basically didn't have enough money to then buy, uh, or that much money to really buy, uh, or, 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 or feel comfortable buying the those those Dalek sets, but fortunately my mum pre-ordered them for me, so uh, although to be fair um, I might not be getting them until Christmas, even though they release in September, so I can't remember when they're going to be releasing in September, I think it may have said the 7th of September, I can't remember now, but yeah, that and also um, time uh, eight, the 8th Doctor Time War box set 4 comes out in September, and I know that's the same sort of deal, I just, I didn't have enough money to pre-order it, so I asked my mum if she'd be able to pre-order it, and then just put it aside for me for Christmas, and I think that might be the awesome thing that's going to happen, so yeah, that's that, that's at least two things, Doctor Who wise, that I definitely know this year that I'm already getting for, my, for Christmas, because my mum is an amazing, amazing person, um, which I don't often say, oh, I don't, I don't, I don't feel like I say enough, really. Uh, either to her or even to myself or out loud or whatever, but yeah. Um, what else? Um, uh, yeah, it just, it looks really cool having them on the shelf, really, I feel like, you know, it's it's like, the really, the, the blue does pop a lot. I think, I, I know I've never done a Dalek, like, top three or top five Dalek design sort of video or, or all like that, talking about the designs of the Daleks, but yeah, I'd definitely say these ones are definitely up there for me. 
uh, and that. But yeah, I only bought one History of the Daleks pack two with the uh, with the uh, uh, Dalek Invasion of Earth Daleks. Also, I think uh, I do want to get series twelve for Christmas um, and that. And I think every time I flick through Amazon to see how much it is, I think it or it always says that it includes resolution. So at some point, I will be selling and or getting rid of and eBaying. Uh, resolution because I have it singly um, on its own but I didn't I didn't realize that obviously because it's not part of series 12 resolution I I didn't even it never even came into my 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 train of thought or my 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 conscious uh, or my my train of thought that you know why wouldn't they just stick it into the series 12 box set so basically resolution or resurrection no resolution uh, no, oh, no, not resolution. Revolution of the Daleks, the next one, uh, that's coming out end of this year, either in Christmas or New Year's, uh, twenty twenty one. Uh, that episode, I won't get that singly because by the time that series thirteen, if and whenever that comes out, then they should hopefully include that in the series thirteen box set. So yeah, um, I did have an idea for resurrection. Resol oh, Jesus Christ, I hate the fact that resolution and there's another Dalek. Uh, story with an R, uh, beginning with an R, coming out back to back, sort of near each other as festive specials. That's very annoying because I keep forgetting which one's which. Uh, but the next one that might be, as I just said, coming out either uh, end of this year or beginning of next year. Um, either way, I think I think it personally. I had an idea where Jodie Whittaker in the prison in Sharder, which we've all, I lo I just love how as a community we've all just accepted that as Sharder uh, as a prison yet. It, they never even mention that or say that or 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 all we've all just assumed that as a community but either way what i would love them to do is just have like a, a, a quite a big year like a time jump like you know maybe it's been 50 to 250 year gap between uh you know, the timeless child and and that story because then for me I feel like Jodie Whittaker would really suit long hair. I've seen so many pictures of her recently uh, on social media and 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 that on Facebook and Twitter of her with long hair and this is something so sort of I hate saying this but for lack of a better term pretty and nice and 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 she looks more like for lack of a better term what like worn down a little bit more it's 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 like the closest for a female doctor that we could get to a male uh, for her to have like a beard obviously i don't want her to have a beard that would be weird but what i'm saying is like yeah as a female doctor that's like the closest sort of thing that we could you know what i mean like it just makes her look a bit more like um uh withered uh, for, well not withered that's the wrong sort of word but w worn down or wary or 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 like yeah like like unkempt you know because again she has been in this prison and i think a visual way of doing that would be to have her just ha have her hair longer and that and also it would explain or in the narrative you know the the time jump would explain the fact that yeah maybe she hasn't had a haircut in actual real life you know because the world's gone fucking sideways but yeah it's a fucking covid but yeah um and obviously, we all already kind of know that John Barrowman is definitely, probably, it's pretty obvious that he's going to be in it at some point, or somehow he's going to be in it, because apparently in a behind-the-scenes thing for Timeless Children, or in, around, in and around that time, towards the latter end of Series 12, there was th a thing with, like, Whitaker, Bradley Walsh, Tosin Cole, and Mandip Gill, and maybe even Chris Chibnall and uh, the producer guy uh matt strevens is that his name uh r.i.p him if i've uh mispronounced his name but um but basically john barrowman was in the background of, of of that so you know in in the background shot sort of thing so well done bbc <laughs> i guess trying to keep that a secret it wasn't but what i will say is that i agree with someone on twitter that i was um that I saw their comment, one thing that they do really like about the Chibnall era, or see as a positive of the Chibnall era, is the fact that, um, is the fact that he has, or is trying to make the Daleks more formidable again, or more of a, of a, an event of more of a, of a sort of, um, for lack of a better term, you know, uh, uh, 
quality over quantity, you know, sort of thing, you know, with only having them maybe every festive, or uh, sort of special, so whether it be a Christmas or New Year's one, either way, they're, they're an event, they're something for not only Doctor Who fans, but even for maybe the Joe Blogs and or casual Doctor Who fan to look forward to, and then also it builds up a certain expectation around those episodes, as well as a routine and a, and a clear format as well, you know, because I think that would be another thing that I could critique about the Moffat era in retrospect, is that you know, is that um, you never really knew when a Dalek story would happen, really. I mean, normally I feel like they'd happen pretty early on in, in a Doctor's run just because Moffat hated writing dialogue for the Daleks, or hated the Daleks, really. I, I'm pretty sure he, he, he was like, eh, they're iconic, but they're pretty crap to write for because the, there's just already been so much material done with them, and dialogue-wise they're not very, you know, uh, talkative, you know, it's like... When someone said to him about, you know, a kid suggested what about a Dalek spin-off and that was his response, like, how would you write that, you know, <laughs> like, logistically, how would you write that, it'd be all very similar dialogue, you know, um, but yeah, uh, what else, I, I have a few ideas floating around in my head, uh, for the channel, you know, um, I have in my book down there, um, it just so happens to be on the floor for some reason, <laughs> um, I have in in there an idea maybe for for just like a why four reasons why I like the classic series of Doctor Who you know um, maybe if and when I've watched the last series of Sarah Jane Adventures do a, my thoughts on Sarah Jane Adventures and then the other two uh, sort of things that I've been thinking about doing is uh, people commented on my Facebook page to do a sort of video about. The return of my boy Eccleston, Eccles Cake. <laughs> um, my boy, he's back. He's coming back for the Doctor Who audios. Uh, don't think I don't already know that, but I do. But yeah, I just, I'm, I'm ecstatic about it. I'm over the moon about it. I probably, I did definitely remember screaming about it when I found out when I when I saw the trailer. It's, uh, yeah, it's, it's insane because. Again, I was seven years old when, when the show came back in 2005. Um, so yeah, just for him to then say yes to doing Doctor Who on audio, even though I know a lot of people are just like, oh, well, it's just audio, who cares? Uh, but again, the fact that I just assumed he'd never come back in any fashion to the show, um, other than obviously the comics where technically they don't obviously need, but they, well, they probably just need his permission to use, uh, to have artists do a likeness sketch of him, but other than that, um, you know, it's, it's all very much not much to do with him, uh, in books and comics. Which then brings me nicely segued into Time Lord Victorious, uh, would you guys be interested in me doing a video about that? Um, I will obviously be reviewing any of the products related to Time Lord Victorious on the channel if, if and when I do get them. Uh, obviously I do go to the comic book shop, uh, uh, the most local one to me, um, fairly regularly-ish. Uh, and he does already have those ones, the, the Time Lord Victorious ones, uh, on subscription for me. I, I'm pretty sure one of the books... Um, uh, which I'm, pardon me, forgetting completely the title of one of the Tenant books, uh, the first one that might be coming out either in September or October. Um, I, 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 I've already, I, I've already, I, I already kind of want for Christmas. Um, what else? Uh, Time Lord Victorious is the, there's the escape room things, but obviously everything around the world that's like probably not going to happen anytime soon for me at least. Uh, and that, uh, books, comics, uh, video games, don't know, because if it's just another VR thing, then, and then that's on PS4 and not Xbox, then that means that I can't experience that, which is annoying, um, the Eagle Moss figurines I might get, I don't know, uh, but yeah, yeah, I might get the Panini Time Lord Victorious Omnibus and or graphic novel or whatever, um, I, I have finally got a new laptop, that's how I've been able to do new videos, uh, or, or not, well, upload new videos and stuff, it's awesome, it's really ha a pretty uh, high-end sort of thing, uh, it's got a 1080p screen, it's like the best laptop I've ever personally owned, 
uh, as of this recording and that. And I'm really happy with the headphones that I've been using for my Switch and for the laptop. Uh, the headphones and the mouse that I got uh, with it, or, or that I, I got uh, in and around the same time as the laptop I, I got. Uh, from my dad, so just wanted to say on the video, or oh, in this video, thank you to him for getting me them. I did say thanks to him anyway, because, you know, as per usual, he was yelling at me that I was uh, ungrateful. Uh, even though I wasn't, I just hadn't got around to saying thank you to him immediately. But yeah, I, I am happy that he bought me those. Uh, although it was funny when me and my mum were going through B&M to find these figures. Um, we did find like sort of pretty much the same sort of mouse and uh, headphones uh, at B and M, and they were like go cheap, even though he paid premium for like you know Amazon really expensive ones. So, but yeah, um, so I think that's kind of funny. I really do like this Lego Viking minifigure. I don't know why I just do. I I think I like it because it keeps reminding me of the Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Is that what it's called? The new Assassin's Creed game, and I, I am kind of hyped and really uh, stoked about getting that, or wanting to get that, although it'll be ages until I can afford a Xbox Series X, but yeah, uh, even though at that point it's just a, a PC really, I guess. But yeah, uh, all the newest stuff is, is basically just a... a uh, the newest consoles are just PCs, aren't they really, I guess, but... Um, I'm just really stupid when it comes to knowing how to even play games on PC, but yeah. Um, what else? I did check my YouTube channel earlier today, uh, as well as watching some of my own videos, which, don't worry, I do massively cringe at. Um, I did, uh, I did check to see if I'd already reviewed the 1996 TV movie, uh, because the idea with the Regenerations book set was that I was gonna review every Regen, uh, episode in there, and I'm up to about... Uh, I've done Tenth Planet, War Games, uh, Planet Spiders, Legopolis, and Caves of Androzani. So I'm a little bit a ways off from uh, doing. Oh, I'm like one episode away from one or two episodes away from doing uh, the 1996 TV movie. But the thing is, then if I review that, the 1996 TV movie via doing the Regen box set version, then I've also got the blu-ray version to review which then would mean that i've got three reviews of the 1996 tv movie on the channel should i delete the oldest one should i just keep the regen one and then do the blu-ray one should i just delete the, old, the oldest version of the 1996 tv movie review not review it in the blue in the regen box set and just review the blu-ray um I, I really need some help and and some suggestions down in the comment comment section would be super helpful uh, at this point, uh, for that, um, yeah, I've, I've got, as I say, I've got quite a few ideas for, for what to do on the channel, but before I forget, the last thing I will say, because my video camera is sort of, um, dying at this point, running out of battery and or juice, deuce, uh, douche, deuce, um, is that, uh, I will be away on holiday from the 7th to the 11th of September, and so obviously just a little bit of an update and or uh, channel update slash housekeeping, if if you will. I, I won't be able to make any video or make any videos nor upload any videos that week, so from the 7th of September to the 11th. So obviously if you are wanting any content fr from my channel, uh, obviously there's more than enough uh, of a backlog, so if you really, really want any content from my channel in particular, for whatever weird reason, um, please do feel free to uh, check those videos out, but otherwise I won't be able to obviously make new content that week. So yeah, which is the 7th to the 11th of September is the second week in uh, September, so yeah, which is literally right around the corner, which is insane, because again, I keep thinking We've got loads of uh, of uh, loads of August left, and we really haven't. I've kind of blinked, and August has just gone, uh, which is weird. Because, like I said to my mum yesterday, uh, this year feels like the longest and shortest year because of fucking COVID. But yeah, I hope everyone's staying safe, staying well, and is okay. Um, I know I've barely got anything to really sort of bitch and complain about when it comes to that thing, but uh, if anything, I'm I'm trying to bitch and complain for everyone else who either is sick of bitching and complaining about it because of the shit they have to deal with, or 
because they can't bitch and complain or because they're trying not to or whatever you know I, I think it's nice to try and get stuff off his chest from time to time which reminds me I am also trying keyword trying to lose weight and or be a bit healthier both physically and mentally uh, it's obviously difficult with the fucking shit that's going on in the world um, you know I, I'm going on WeFit plus uh, fairly regularly ish I, that's another thing I would really like to get uh, Ring Fit Adventure for Switch uh, as dumb as that sounds to say out loud but yeah because it seems like a, a, a good gamified version of uh, doing exercise which I genuinely just disdain and hate and I think it's mainly because of the shitty PE teachers I had at school and just the fact that like I just I like there's just the word exercise like I don't think anyone's ever said it in a happy way like no one's ever said exercise you know like it, it even just trying to say it happily just sounds like you know you're forcing it it sounds like a word that I've grown up made to to make you do a horrible thing as a child <laughs> you know um, or at least I think so anyway um, but yeah um, yeah, I, as I say, I'm trying to do that. I'm trying to do meditation as well and do some some just different me mental exercises and, and things to just try and keep sane or as sane as I can do. <laughs> Let's not get carried away. But yeah, um, as I say, I just hope everyone else that I know, both family, friends, so on, so forth, you know, um, close family, extended family, um, friends, you know, from college or, or the ser uh, service I go to or whatever, you know, I hope everyone's just staying safe and staying well and, uh, you know, uh, keep keep on moving uh, forward, hopefully, um, you know. Uh, but yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Please do comment, rate and subscribe.